Hello and welcome to a tutorial uh, how to set up the login system for Unreal Engine 4. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how it works on Windows 7 uh, and my virtual machine. And yeah, so first of all, uh, we are going inside the Unreal Engine Freight. Uh, so. We get some links to it. Uh, make sure no application blocks uh, the parts uh, AG and yeah, I think that's all. So, um, yeah. The best idea you can have is that you're using um, subversion to get the newest files. So um, we're searching for subversion client. That's a good client here. And install it. So what we also need is a uh, bitnami xamp or wamp here we go um i think we shouldn't use the newest version for no not xamp WAMP stack, that's right. We should use the 5.5 uh, version, not the 7.7 .7 version or something like that. Some people have the issue that they get errors displayed on the index page and that's because of uh, old version of Apache or uh, PHP so let's install it we don't need ah uh, we can install that doesn't matter and we need the database uh, password so it's tor123 and um, yeah and we need to install subversion client sorry about my English uh, English is not my native language so I try to speak uh, as good as I can. Hopefully this will not take so long. All right, here we go. All right, so we can just check out uh, the source from the subversion server. So we had web files source. Then right click on it and there is no client. That sucks. So maybe we are running this or something like that no nothing well I think we need to restart it I mean uh, yeah it's not integrated or can you see something integrated here no you can't so we let install this now and then restart the 
virtual machine. I think you need to restart your computer then to get the explorer extensions for subversion. Maybe there are uh, other subversion clients but I suggest Turius subversion. Come on. What the hell? So the subversion, copy that. Actually, I hate it to use Internet Explorer, so I save the link inside here. Alright, shutting down my scale. Come on, do it now. Yeah. Come on, I don't need to uninstall this. All right, so I don't want to launch this. I want to restart the machine. The reason why I can't um, run this on my own machine right now is that I've installed uh, actually a Bitnami WAM server for development purposes and yeah I can't delete it right now so I'm using a virtual machine like for every new project I'm showing on YouTube or something like that. So we should be able to right click on this folder and check out. Then we copy this and OK.
now it is downloading all the files of uh, the subversion server for the web client or the web API all right it's done and we can put it this copy it and paste it on Bitnami Apache 2 and delete all inside of this don't need that paste everything here inside open your browser then type in localhost uh, yeah uh, where I don't know what he wants from me but we can just do now the database setup before we do that we create a database so we type in a localhost uh, php my admin and nothing is loading here that's great that's not great um, Second, uh, we can try it on another way. So we type in here. And we can use actually uh, this page on the main server if you, you're using a virtual machine or something like that. Um, and we don't want actually to set up it right now. We want to create a database. Oh, that sucks. Um, then type in server and no admin and then it's call and type in root and two one two three. And we shall be able to create a new database called uh, API created. Then log out and go to the main page. Type in your host name. In my case, it's localhost. And database name uh, API and this is root and this is Tor123 uh, and next the database configuration is successfully and we shall be able if we delete everything here to see stats from the database and if we're going on the admin and sql root and thor inside the database we should be able to see two tables and inside the tables are uh, a few rows with users and yeah so this is all working right now and if we want to use it in Unreal Engine, um, we can uh, actually use Varest Unreal Engine project. Um, we can use this server actually right now. So we create a new user called no test uh, 120 test test mail at whatever and test test register uh, 
test 120 and test so it is working right now and it's now on the table if I refresh the table yeah and how to set up um, other engine it's pretty easy uh, you go into your content browser and go under uh, spark fire and go to the instance and just set up uh, the server URL and yeah that's nothing hard to do <laughs> you just write inside this and slash API slash it's important that you're doing every end uh, slash and don't use uh, SSL this won't get accepted from the system so as you can see the server is online there is no offline or something if we are typing our username test uh, 120 and type in test we see we're locked in and everything works fine uh, if we're going in the virtual machine and no we change something here inside uh, the database in our user like uh, we say we have now 500 uh, XP and uh, we're level 5 and we're admin and um, save this we see we're level 5 and we have the half of the exp of the uh, needed XP so if we are logging again with the user because we set us to an admin we see here the admin icon and we are admin so that's all you have to do and if you know some PHP or MySQL and uh, you know how to blueprint this you can make just awesome things like a complete game with just this database and this system so yeah thanks for watching and uh, have fun and happy holidays